A very good evening and welcome to all of your listeners. Welcome back to your own channel and today we are going to talk about the 315 day for Godly blessing where God talks about the third eye. Now what is the third eye? We will try to understand that also and how does it open and how does it close in brief. So Baba says in this blessing, may you be a true yogi who gives a vision of the third eye through your forehead. So the explanation goes like this. In the memorials, a third eye is shown on the forehead of a yogi. We see that eye formation over here. You true yogi children must constantly stay in the company of the one father with your intellects in order to grant a vision of the third eye through your foreheads. Now Supreme God the father is the main third eye. Um, that means he is completely soul conscious. These are the two physical eyes and soul which is running this body which I am the soul who is running this body is the third eye. Now, if I, the soul, am in contact with God, the Father, Supreme Being, connected to Him, then my physical form or my physical vibrations will reduce. And that means that I'll be more soul conscious than body conscious. So God says, when you have complete pure remembrance with me, that's the time only you can make other souls feel godly power, godly values, godly virtues. And you can make them see themselves also as a soul. Then Baba says, one is the father, the second is I. That means the connection is completely pure. God father is one and the second is I the soul or you the soul. And then Baba says, there is no third person. If a third person comes in our memories, it can come in our memories in the form of attachment. It can come in our memories in the form of jealousy or greed or any other negative form or even extreme attachment or extreme love or extreme dependency on that person then obviously then the contact with the supreme being is cut completely so we stay in this world by being in touch with god the father loving with the father loving to other brothers and sisters but every expectation is from god every sharing is only with god we don't share anything with other people around us why because expectations rise attachments increase so all sharing of our problems, all sharing of our difficulties is with Supreme God the Father through the method of meditation. That is what it means. One is God, second is me, the soul and no third person, no dependency. Dependencies make us weak. Expectations rise. We feel sad when they are not met. So that's why God says that when you have such a stage, others will have a vision of the third eye. If a third person enters your intellect, the third eye will then close so intellect is what intellect is intellect is the place where our feelings are there that's where we actually differentiate between different emotions and that's where we feel by choosing the emotion which we need to choose now in that intellect either we have godly emotions or we have worldly emotions so worldly emotions could be with people with things and many other things and so Godfather says either those things, those people, those old memories are there with you or I am there with you. So if your intellect cannot choose between me and them as God the Father, then the third eye will close. Then we'll try to see all the answers or look for all the solutions through these two physical eyes and not the sixth sense which is the third eye of knowledge, of soul consciousness. Then Baba says, then the third eye will then close. So, to make sure that your mind, your third eye remains constantly open, you have to remember that there must be, mustn't be a third person. That means our emotions, our attachments in any form, be it greed, be it lust, be it ego, be it jealousy, be it competition, be it comparison, everything should be not attached to any being. So if you want to compare, compare yourself with God. If you want to compete, compete in getting qualities like God. There cannot be any hatred. There cannot be any jealousy. So God says, if any of those negatives are there, obviously some person is there. Some third person is involved. And when I'm, I'm there, then none of those negatives will be there in your mind. So he wants us to reach that stage so that enlightenment happens wisdom comes in and we can see things as they are and not get into wrong decisions 
get into wrong situations by deciding on the basis of our five senses what we want to hear how we want to see things and what we want to feel is not all the time true so god says what your senses tell you in this world may not be true but what your sixth sense can tell you is more powerful so it's important to open the sixth sense for which we live in this world but we live in an unattached manner to people and things and that's what we learn in prama kumaris and slowly over a period of time that unattachment begins to increase and we become more wiser so i leave you with this beautiful blessing you can go ahead and learn this third eye knowledge at prama kumaris college spiritual university for free next door to you good night